Hi everyone, me Robert here and in this video you will learn how you can run a ChatGPT like app but fully open sourced from the front end to the back end. You will see live two variants. Variant 1, you just run the chat UI locally and utilize a remote inference endpoint. And variant 2, you run the whole stack, the chat UI, the text generation inference server and the large language model on your virtual machine. If you like this content, please click the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell below so that you guys can keep up to date with all of our videos. So you know what? Let's get to it! All right, let's start with a quick live demo. Here you can see that I'm running Hugging Chat already locally. We are a tunnel into my virtual machine running on the Google Cloud and established via Visual Studio Code. If you're not familiar with tunneling into a remote machine via Visual Studio Code, then please check out my previous video, SSH into remote VM via Visual Studio Code. I will also leave you a link to this video in the description below. Here in Visual Studio Code, in my left terminal window, you can see that I'm running the chat UI with this command. And if we click on the ports tab, we can see that the port 5173 on my remote virtual machine is forward, forwarded to my local machine here. And here on the right terminal window, you can see that I'm running the text generation inference server locally as well. However, if you don't like to run the model locally, or if you don't have the resources to do so, then you can stick with the inference API and you don't have to run this uh, text generation inference server locally here. So let's switch back to the hacking chat UI. And here you can see the current model which by default is connected to the Hugging Face Inference API via a remote endpoint. But we can click here on the right side. And here you can see that I've added a local Open Assistant model, which gets requested via my local text generation inference server, instead of requesting a remote inference API like here in the first variant. But first let's stick here with the first variant. And let's ask a simple question here in the prompt. What is inflation, for example? Inflation is an economic phenomenon where the general price level of goods and services increase over time due to increased demand. This means that the same amount of money buys less when compared to before. Inflation can be caused by many factors such as increased government spending, low interest rates, high unemployment levels and changes in production costs. Now let's try to ask the same question again, but this time we will use our local text generation inference server with the local open assistant model. So we switch back to our local Hugging Chat homepage. We change the current model and we choose our local uh, model here and click apply. We enter the same question here. What is inflation? And enter. We can see that it nearly generated the same answer, but more importantly, we can see that it also works with our local a text generation inference server and the local model. And now I will show you how you can set up Hugging Chat locally as well, either with requesting a remote inference API or by setting up a local inference server. So I switch back to Visual Studio Code and I terminate the chat UI on the left window, the left terminal window, and I also stop the local text generation inference server on the right window here. Now I clear both windows. And I exit the second window since we don't need this now. Here you can see that I've created a directory AI on my remote uh, virtual machine. 
You can see this directory here on the left as well. It contains an npm project with a package.json file and a scripts directory where I located all the scripts that I used to set up the system. These scripts clone the chat UI source code from the original hugging face space and place it in a separate directory chat UI here. Hugging chat requires a MongoDB database in the backend. We will create it with Docker. And this will store the data here in the Mongo directory. In order to create the project, the NPM project here in the AI directory and to run the chat UI, you need to have NPM installed. If you haven't installed it, you can install NVM, which is the node version manager, which allows you to install uh, different versions of node and NPM. You can install NVM with curl, if you don't have curl, you can install it with this command. And then you can install NVM with this command here. Then you have to reopen your terminal or to run the following command here. So I have closed and reopened my terminal here. Now you can create a new project by running npm in it. I don't do this since I've already created this project here, but I open my package.json file here where you can see the commands that I've prepared. The first command is start mongodb, which basically runs a mongodb docker container. We load and run the mongodb docker image with docker run. We remove the container when the container gets terminated with this command but we store the database data on a persistent volume with this command. We give the MongoDB container the name MongoDB so that we easily can stop it here again. And we expose the MongoDB port here so that it's accessible from the Hugging Chat app. Now we easily can run the MongoDB database by running npm run start MongoDB. We can check if the container is running by running docker ps-a. And I've also prepared commands here where we can list the MongoDB collections or where we can list the chat UI uh, conversations. But now let's clear the terminal here and continue with installing the chat UI. For this purpose, I've prepared the npm command install chat UI. And here I'm basically switching into the scripts directory. And here you can find the install chat UI script. And here in this script, I first install git lfs, which is required to handle large files. And here I remove the chat UI directory here in case it already exists so that I easily can reinstall the chat UI completely. And with this git clone command here, I basically copy the Hugging Chat repository here with its complete source code into my local chat UI directory here. Then I change into the chat UI directory here and I run npm install, which basically installs all the required dependencies. But as you can see in the chat UI uh, repository, it contains here a generic .env file which you have to store as .env.local file in your local file system. And in this .env.local file, you have to adapt the MongoDB URL to your needs. And you also have to change the HF access token here if you want to utilize the uh, inference API endpoint from Hugging Face. So if you just want to run the chat UI locally, but not the inference server, which corresponds to the first variant that I showed you in the live demo. Then you have to go to the Hugging Face site and click on your profile here on the upper right window and then click uh, on settings. Here you click on access token on the left side and here you can create your new token. And this token you have to enter here. Therefore, I've created my own .env file here in the data directory, which contains my personal credentials. And I copy this file as env.local here in the chat UI directory. 
in this local.env.local file, we also specify the path to our MongoDB database here, which is running with Docker, as follows. In this file, also the models are defined, and we will add the endpoint for our local inference server here later. But now we basically can run our local chat UI. I've created another npm command start chat UI here, which basically runs the chat UI here on my remote machine with npm run dev. But since I have tunneling in place and I want to run the chat UI through my local browser, I had to enter these parameters here. Now I can start the chat UI locally with running npm run start chat UI. You can see that the port is automatically forwarded here by Visual Studio Code. And I can click on this link here with control and click to open the chat UI in my local browser. And here we go, the chat UI is running locally. But this is just the first variant with utilizing the remote inference API from Hugging Face. But now I will show you how you also can run your local text generation inference server. In order to run an inference server which uses larger language model like the one from Open Assistant, you need to have a virtual machine with sufficient resources. In my case, I figured out that I have to use at least the N1 standard 8 machine type, which has 8 virtual CPUs and 30 GB of memory. Additionally, I had to add two NVIDIA T4 GPUs. The easiest way to get this configuration is to choose the GPUs template here in the machine configuration. And here you choose two GPUs of type NVIDIA T4. Then you scroll down and you choose this uh, machine type here with 30 gig of mem. And then you scroll down to boot disk. And here you want to choose an GPU optimized image that has the NVIDIA CUDA stack already pre-installed. Therefore, we click on switch image here. And I choose the Debian 10 based deep learning virtual machine image here, which has CUDA 11.3 already pre-installed. I change the disk to SSD. And here you can set your disk size accordingly. Then you click select and create your virtual machine. Once you've set up these kind of resources, we can switch back to Visual Studio Code. We stop the running container. I clear this terminal window and I create a new terminal window here. I've created a new npm command here, start inference. And this command basically starts the script here, start text generation inference, which is located here on the left side in the scripts directory. I click on it. In this script, I'm setting some environment variables. So I'm setting the model to open assistant. I set num shard to 2. And here I set the volume where the inference data gets stored. This later on basically gets this directory here. Since I run the inference server with Docker, I define a name for the container of the inference server here. And finally, I run the inference server with this Docker command. You can ignore everything that's here below this exit statement. Again, I remove the container when it gets terminated. I set the container name here, which basically is this here. We specify all GPUs, the shim size, and I expose the port 8081 here. Please note that this is different to the documentation which uses port 8080. But on my port 8080, there is a Python running, so I choose 8081 here. Now I split this line so that you can see the following commands a little bit better. Here 
Here you now can see that I specified a persistent volume, which basically is this directory here. I download and use the latest version of the Docker text generation inference image from Hugging Face here. Here I pass in the environment variables that I've previously defined. But probably the most important part in this Docker command is this parameter here, disable custom kernels. We have to add this parameter here since the server is optimized for the NVIDIA A100 GPUs, but we run our virtual machine just with T4 GPUs. But that's basically all we have to specify here and we now can run npm run start inference. This loads the Docker image and starts the text generation inference server here on my virtual machine. So it's waiting here for the shard 0 to be ready and the shard 1 to be ready. And here we can see that the shards are ready and that it is starting the web server. And it says connected. Now that the server is running, we can test it by posting a prompt, for example, what is deep learning, to its local endpoint here with curl. So I copy this command and I paste it in my first terminal window here. And then I click enter. Here we can see that it immediately gives us an answer. Deep learning is a subfield of artif artificial intelligence. Also on the server side here, on the right side, we can see that it has received the input here, what is deep learning, and that it generated the output here. Now let's see how we can connect our local chat UI to this inference server. As already mentioned before, the models are defined in a .env.local file here. I click on it. The models are defined in a JSON array here, where each model is a JSON object. So I simply copy and paste this Open Assistant model here. And I prefix the name with local here, so that I can distinguish between these two models. And I also change the description here. But most importantly, I add this line here, which specifies the endpoint that is my local text generation inference server. Now I clear my left terminal window here again. And now I start the chat UI again with npm run start chat UI. Again, the port gets forwarded and I open it in the browser. Here in my local chat UI, I can now switch the model to my local Open Assistant model here. After refreshing the page, I can see that now the local inference server with the local model here is used. To check if our local chat UI is working together with our local inference server, let's do a final prompt here. What is inflation? And again, it gives us an answer. That's all for today. If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.